Show, show me how the walking stick works again. Put your foot on here. Yeah. And that's a proper walking stick, is it? Yeah. Where'd you learn that? In medical school. In medical school? Yeah. I didn't know you went to medical school. Yeah. Keep doing that and you're gonna need to go to medical school. Why? Whoa. So man will found this rock. That is indicative of being molten basalt lava that's been airborne and cooled quickly. Hence all those tiny little air pockets there. And quite often cool so quick that they uh, crystallize inside and you get some sort of crystal formation in there but no, the longer... We just got to work out how to break it in half. That could be a bit of a... What do you think? A bit of a job? Yeah. We're just here camping for the night. Um, forgot the name of where we're camping. I'll tell you later. But uh, there's just some walking trails out here. And it's just such beautiful lush rainforest. And if you listen carefully, you'll hear... Some amazing birds. Heaven. How big is that tree? Five centimeters in diameter. Five centimeters. Yeah. Just go and stand in front of it for me. Tree's worth about two fifty. Just go and stand in front of it so I can gauge how big that tree is, just in case it's a bit more than five centimetres. Put your arms out as wide as they can go. Mm. Thinking it might be a bit wider than five centimetres. Really soggy tree, Rick. Just here at Lake Tinaru. It's just a little bit outside Atherton, um, Atherton, Queensland. And I'm just doing some trail walking here beside the lake. It's absolutely beautiful and so peaceful. Beautiful birds and yeah, just gorgeous. Uh, we're at Dinder National Park, pulled up. I'm glad. <laughs> this is the reason why we don't have a caravan. Because you're not going to get here with a caravan. But, uh, beautiful spot. Dinder National Park near Mariba. Little fire pit there. Kara's getting a bathing suit on. Will is chucking stuff in the water. Whoa. There you go. Good, this water's so gross. You look pretty pretty happy there.
Salem Tortoise down there. Oh, there's a little tortoise there. What are you trying to catch? Yeah, him. He's over there. He's a doctor. What have you got? Big eel? Yeah. How many? Yungaburra Railway Heritage, 2,280 feet above sea level. Yungaburra is a very pretty town, look at that. Flowers growing there and along the park. Check out the old pub. It's our third market, by far the largest. And I'll show you, I'll show you around that market shortly. Diesel Vaios, particularly with the cost of living going through the roof. Go there, go to your local market and buy your fruit and vegetables. Heaps cheaper and meat there too. Booksellers, specialty shops. There's the butchery, Yungabara. There's an interesting setup up there, huh? Setting up for the younger borough markets this morning and it is a bit chilly. You can't see my breath, but I can see my breath. <laughs> Uh, looks like it's a pretty big market. So lots of cool stalls. This gentleman's won first place in the Australian best Worcestershire sauce. And I've just bought a bottle of his chili. It's got scorpion. It's got Trinidad scorpion butch tea chili in it. Right. I'm, I'm keen to try that. So that little water pump's powered by water. <laughs> of course you've got tree kangaroos up here. Tree kangaroo and mammal group. It's a fantastic market at Yungaburra. Look at those plants. Picture plants, aren't they? Natural deodorant. It's a rock. Do you say it's a rock? It is a rock. You know how I, you know how I built the roof rack on the truck out of steel pipe with the three red rib bar going across it. I got it all wrong. I thought I did a pretty good job. I got it all wrong. Because here in Yungaburra, they design and build their own roof rack systems. They're environmentally friendly, sustainable, low carbon footprint, made out of recycled materials. Come and have a look at it. 
This is it. It's the roof rack platform. With built in aerial retainer. Beat that. Mm. What do you think? Yeah. All sick of flexed up. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs>